Did you know that God has actually chained angels and put them underneath the earth? And it gets even better. He's going to be releasing them very, very soon. Stick around to the end of this video because you're not going to believe this. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 6, starting at verse 1, When men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were fair or beautiful and took them as wives as they chose. Now I want you to pay attention to verse 2. It says the sons of God. It doesn't say the sons of men, but it says the sons of God. The sons of God would be the angels. God actually established angels, which were called watchmen, to look over the earth. They were responsible for watching over God's creation. But the Bible says that they saw the daughters of men and saw that they were beautiful. When they saw that they were beautiful, they went and began to mate. They procreated with the daughters of men. And listen to this. The Lord said, My spirit will not always strive with man, for he is flesh. Yet his days will be a hundred and twenty years. Then the Nephilim were on the earth in those days, and also after that when the sons of God came into the daughters of men, or mated with women, they were bore children to them. These were the mighty men who were of old, the men of renown. This is where we get Greek mythology. This is where we get all of this stuff about superhumans. What happened was that fallen angels actually procreated with men and created hybrids or demigods. They created giants. They created the men of renown. They created the Nephilim. They created these freak creatures that were superhuman in some sort of sense, but God ended up sending the flood to wipe them out. And it gets even crazier. It said that he took four of those angels and he chained them underneath the earth. And it tells us exactly where he chained them. Look at this, Jude chapter one, verse six. And the angels who did not stay within their own position of authority, but left their proper dwelling, he has kept in eternal chains under gloomy darkness until the day of great judgment. So God chained up these fallen angels and he put them in a specific location underneath the earth until the day of great judgment. Go to Revelation chapter 9 verse 14 and it says this, saying to the sixth angel who had the trumpet, Release the four angels who are bound at the great Euphrates River, and the four angels who had been prepared for the hour and the day and the month and the year were released to kill a third of mankind. So God has a specific purpose for these four angels that are chained up under the earth. Not only are they awaiting judgment themselves, but God has them under the earth to release them at a very specific time to slaughter one third of mankind that refuses to serve God. And there's a few signs that the Bible says that we should pay attention to to know when God is going to release those angels. One of those signs is later on in the book of Revelation, I believe in chapter 16, it says that that river will begin to dry up. When you see the river Euphrates drying up, you know it is a sign of the end times. And if you study that river right now, it is drying up. There's actually historians and different biologists that are saying that that river could be completely dry by the year 2040. But there's more signs. The Bible says in the last days that there will be a major increase of earthquakes in the earth. If you look at a seismic activity chart, even within the last 30 years, there have been more earthquakes than any time before in history. And Jesus said all of these would be signs that he was coming back very, very soon. He said there's going to be diseases on the earth. There's going to be viruses on the earth. He said there's going to be famines and plagues and wars and rumors of wars. He said when you see all of these things happening, know that I am coming back very, very soon. All of these are signs that Jesus is going to be coming back to take the church with him to heaven 
as the rapture approaches. I want you to pay very attention to the signs of these end times. And if you enjoyed this teaching, I want you to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and I want you to go watch the video that's going to be on your screen and pinned in the comments below right now to learn the truth about how to go to heaven when you die.